We are with Simone Resta, chief designer of Scuderia Ferrari, and uh, we'll just uh, talk about the next race in uh, Bahrain, a race which normally uh, goes under uh, two different uh, uh, names, which is uh, uh, heavy braking and acceleration. Is that the case? Actually, Bahrain is a, a track that uh, does put the car under a lot of pressure, uh, as, as you mentioned, both in traction phases and in uh, straight line uh, braking. Uh, as it gives a lot of energy into the brakes. There are several brakes, maneuvers, and uh, for sure the braking cooling system will have to be dimensioned to match with these energy levels. We will be racing in a hot environment, uh, but uh, with uh, strong differences in uh, track temperature, especially uh, between uh, free practice, which is in daylight, and the race itself, because this is night race. So what does it mean uh, on, uh, for, for a technician uh, just in developing and setting up the car? Since uh, the last two years, uh, as we know, uh, both quality and race have been planned a little bit later in the day. Uh, it does mean that uh, um, the temperature uh, that you can see in these conditions is slightly different than the ones that you can see in FP1, for example. So th there's still a lot of value in running the car in FP1 and understanding uh, the setup, uh, the car behavior, and all the, um, let's say, the driver-related items. But for sure, in terms of uh, car temperatures, uh, as well as tire temperatures, there is a, a clear difference. The Sakir Quad track is uh, normally defined as a power track, or I should say uh, a power unit track. So uh, how much does the hybrid uh, component of, uh, of the power unit contribute to uh, maximum speed along the straight line? How much does it contribute to maximum power output? And uh, how does uh, uh, the picture uh, as relative to power unit uh, appear on this kind of track? Bahrain track, uh, between uh, all the first tracks uh, of the racing season, is probably the one that uh, does put more emphasis and more importance onto the power sensitivities. Power sensitivities are coming both from the internal combustion engine as well as from the energy re uh, recovery systems. Uh, they, will, they both have an, have an effect on, uh, on top speed and on uh, strain line performance. Uh, but we, we, we need to remember always that uh, there is also a big sensitivity coming from uh, aerodynamic uh, behavior, especially from drag characteristic of the car. Scuderia Ferrari uh, suffered uh, last year's race uh, uh, due to this characteristics. That uh, this year the, the picture looks quite different. But would you give us an outlook of uh, how the race could develop for Scuderia? Well, uh, we are just at the beginning of the season, and we all know that. Uh, uh, we need to learn a lot of things, f uh, let's say, about our cars and, 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 and about also our competitors. And uh, generally the, the performance level is not just uh, an absolute value that does characterize yourself, but is all in relative with the other teams. Uh, say that, uh, it will be interesting to see in, in this particular track, uh, in a completely different running point in terms of the downforce drag, and as well as in terms of uh, power unit sensitivities, our performance level. It will be an interesting race to, to look. And finally, racing in the desert could be fascinating to many people, but uh, it also implies that you can have a lot of sand on track. Does that really affect the mechanical drape of the tires? It can have a strong effect, but it's also strongly related to the wind level that you can see on the track. So we need to wait to see the meteor, what will give uh, to us.